have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pineda? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm. By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover, you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pineda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. And now our fill of the tape for this heavyweight fight. We set it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Referee Herb Dean fight. will handle the action right. in the octagon. Sure. All right, here we go with round one. Alex Poetan Pereira, one of the best strikers pound for pound in all of mixed martial arts. Outstanding power in his hands, of course. His left hook has that undeniable death touch. But we've got our eyes on the calf kicks here tonight. He believes that that is going to be a weapon that can change the complexion of this entire fight. We'll see if Pereira gets after it early. on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach, and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, he's not wasting any time. Those thudding leg kicks just continue to land. I'm not sure how many of those the boxer's going to be able to take. Well, boxers in both of their names. You got the kickboxer versus the boxer, but the kick is ultimately what shows itself early. He has more weapons. He's got to use each and every one of them. Oh, lead hook by Choi. Circling to his right. to the target. Oh, nice kick. Just over three minutes to go. Both fighters throwing heat now. The Korean Superboy gets lit up by that straight punch. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy. It's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kicks. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Choice shot there is blocked. Harsh 
shots landing on both sides here. Oh, that's a good strike there by the Korean Super Bowl. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most skipped on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nicely done as he lands a kick to the leg. Under two minutes to go in the round. Effective jab there by Padena. Nice hook lands. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up. But you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Let's go. Keep those hands up. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Pedato. Good. Keep the pressure on. You're doing good. The strike lands clean. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. He does a great job fighting from both sides. Beautiful left hand, left hand shot. Watch right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Alex Pereira gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land. Oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble chin. He's hurting bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Big right hand lands. What an end to round one. All right. Breathe. Respira. Respira. Você tem que ir com calma, tá? You gotta slow it down. You gotta be calm, okay? You're being overly aggressive. All right, so a lot of highlights from which to choose after those previous five minutes. And on the other side, you better start checking some of these leg kicks, man. Yeah, and when your opponent is throwing that many leg kicks, it takes one good check. If he takes one, if he gets one good check off, he may deter him from throwing these kicks over and over. Ready. Ready. Go. Round two on the way. So here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking, but then when his opponent tried to string combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Back to the jab now. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Pereira gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Keep your hands up, push your Missed on the right hand. Choi's body really getting bruised up on that right side right now. Got to figure out a way to lower the guard. Establishing the jab. Throwing both sides with conviction. Back to the jab now, no good. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Head kick. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh! oh, nice jab by Pereira. He's gonna get himself knocked out. You gotta take a moment. He's gonna get knocked out if he doesn't take a break. 
Three minutes now to go in round two. Well, he has really picked up the pace. He's got to run. He's got to start looking to finish. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, that calf is starting to show signs of bruising now. And you can tell in the way that he's walking. It's starting to take an effect. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Alex Pineda gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Two minutes now to go. Nice straight right, Lance. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his one tag team. You know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Joy's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Nice straight right, Lance. Fighter lands a left. Both guys appear to land there. Under a minute to go. Oh, he leads with a power right hand there, DC. That'll work. Really sat down with that right hand. Swing and a miss by Pedeta. Nice job by him defensively. Oh! He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yeah. Oh, oh Final seconds here. His nose is bleeding now. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a to even be on his feet right now. Good round. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, DC, we'll get a few clips of the damage done in that previous round. That eye continues to be the main target. I mean, he is getting hit in this position, and it's all about now where is the cut? Is it above the eye? Is it below the eye? But every time you get hit in that area, it is going to sting, and the bleeding will then cause issues to your sight. He's got to change something. Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Just misses with a left hook there. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Let me see that hook now. 
Well, the calf kick has effectively changed the game, and I'm not sure he wants to take too many more of those. Well, you might consider switching stances or something to try to eliminate that attack from coming in his direction. Missed with that attempt. Single collar tie now. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, that one landed, yep. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, nice body shot. Missed with that attempt. Oh, he's landed a high number of times. Oh, he is stunned. Drunk driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Oh, nice high kick. Great block there. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's gotta go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it, going in the fight. All right, big storyline starting to develop yeah. here. That cut really starting to gap wide open as this fight continues. And you can watch him, you see him. You can see it becoming his focus as he's popping him on that cut. And it's starting to open up more and more as the fight goes longer. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice kick. Ooh, nice leg kick. Let's get that takedown. Oh, you can hear the crowd as yet another calf kick lands. Pretty swollen now. Well, he's at a point now where even if he checks it, it still is very damaging. He waited too long to address that attack. Lands a solid kick right there. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, how technical is that? Nice straight punch. Choi's eye is closing up. 15 seconds. Oh, great block there. Both guys are strong heat now. What a fight so far. All right, man, take a seat. Senpai, you really rocked him that round. He does not want to be in this fight anymore. I need you to go out there. I need you to finish him, okay? He doesn't want to be... All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, with authority, the body. Oh, a big left hand. The one, 
two punches true. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you as you hurt him. Choi is really taking aim at that cut right now, and hard to blame him, right? They might even call him the ringside physician. He is continuing to target that area. Well, that is a shade of magenta on his calf. I'm not sure I've seen before. That bruising's getting out of control. The bruising's getting bad, and it's starting to get to a point where you gotta keep an eye on whether or not this guy will be able to finish the fight. Heavy on the cut, heavy on the cut. Choi's shot is blocked. Gets the inside leg kick to land there. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Padeda. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him. In the oh, how about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice leg kick. Another nice leg kick. Under two minutes here to go round four. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. And missed with that jab attempt there. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Big body kick land. Choi's able to protect the eye there with that block. So that is a nice adjustment that the fighter made there to raise the guard and prevent further damage. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Under a minute to go. Oh, head kick gets home. Don't want to take too many of those. All right, so as a result of one of those leg kicks, he is now limping. He hasn't been rendered a one-legged fighter, but his mobility has absolutely been compromised. Well, you can check it right now. It's easy to see. You can see that this guy has struggled. You can see that he's very, very hurt from these leg kicks. Even checking the kicks now will not help because the damage has been done. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice punch to the head. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Well, we talk so much ad nauseum about this trend of leg kicks in MMA, but oftentimes only a few can cause real visceral damage, and now you see the limp. Yeah, you start to see him limping from the damage from the kicks. This guy did not address those kicks early, and now he's paying for it. Wow, what a performance in that round. I'm no judge. I'm not sure a 10-8's even enough. Total dominance and nearly got the finish. Total dominance. Almost got the finish. Was able to hurt his opponent on multiple occasions. Didn't put him down now. He just hurt him. But maybe, just maybe, he will find a shot that will put him down once and for all. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cup. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed 
over the course of that round and it Great opened fight. up a nasty Ready. cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. Beautiful block there. There, his opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Very fast leg kick lands for him. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Going out of the body with that hook. Well done there by Pedata. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Both guys appeared to land there. Look at him chopping the wood. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Three minutes now to go in this one. Pretty strong jab there by Choi. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by Checks the leg kick. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Lands a jab. Found the target with that left hand. Two minutes now to go in the fight. Pereira's cut on his nose does not look good. Actually, it looks really bad. You gotta think the ringside physician is gonna get called in here in a moment. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. That's a really strong leg kick there by Pereira. Oh, thwack, that is a solid kick right there. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Keep going with that. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Looking to land the leg kick now. Pereira gets caught by the straight punch. Lands a nice leg kick. Pereira's an absolute mess right now. There's blood everywhere. I'm not so sure they're not going to stop this fight right now. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.
And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel here tonight. A big win for him in this featherweight division. And it's pretty wild to think that this guy is just getting started.